In this video, we are going to take a look in the solving solving the exercise of the looping structures uh, class. So we were asked to make a um, a new column in the weather data that we have with the sum of the rainfall of the three days. This will be used to estimate when is the first summer rain here in Florida. It's a uh, important important uh, climatological uh, feature okay and to discover that is the first rain of uh, accumulated rain of three days bigger than uh, a, a eight inch of rain so let's start by creating my my weather data here using the function provided and uh, I will create a vector now with um, just to create a vector with the same size of the precipitation and now I'm going to use this form so to elaborate how this what this form means I will put the values of this vector here on the i each iteration is going to put the value of this uh, vector which is from 1 to the size of this vector that I have that is 740 so it's going to this this code inside of here is going to be repeated 740 times, and if it's the first one, if i is equal to one, it's going to put in this position that I am. See, like here, I'm, I'm selecting specifically the position number one, the sum of the next element and the current element, because I don't have a previous element in the first one. Then, else if it's like if this solution, if this condition is not so fulfilled, is this condition fulfilled? And if not even this one, then it's the else condition. So if this condition is not true, is this condition true? Which means is it the last value because the length is, is precise with the last value, right? So when e is e i is equal to seven hundred and forty it's going to sum just the current value and the previous one not the next one because I don't have a next one and if none of these conditions are true it's going to just sum the previous day, the current day and the next day I, I, I select the next day by summing the i plus 1 which will be the, the index it's like I'm, imagine this as walking through your data set you know, each, each 4 is one step that you do and you can look backwards or we're forward. So let's run this for. Okay. So now this vector has the value of the sum of the accumulated range of three days. I just uh, assign it to the to a new column, and then here I have a column with the sum of the range of three, three days. You can see, like for instance, here twenty, and the sum of three days is twenty. Okay, so that's the exercise. Um, in the next lecture, we're going to take a look at functions in R. See you there.